the other thing, though, that was equally true of Queen Elizabeth's reign was that she was busy making an alliance with the Moroccans against the, the Catholic Spanish. Uh, and there were various joint projects uh, that, they, you know, my enemy's enemy is my friend. So the, uh, the, the Muslim Moroccans allied with the Elizabethan court uh, with a view to um, attacking piratically Spanish and Portuguese treasure ships coming back from the New World. And there's even a colony, uh, a suggestion of a joint colonization project, which the Sultan of Morocco uh, suggested that the Moroccans might be better to settle in Virginia than the white British, as they were better dealing with the heat and, 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 and the climatic extremes. And there exists still in the Moroccan embassy in London, I've seen it, the, the, the extraordinary full-length portrait of Morocco's ambassador to Elizabethan England. <laughs> Do you see a divergence of views a little bit here or uh, the importance of remembering Britain's own past as not entirely white? So there is there are two aspects to the story, right? What, what Britain was doing abroad, but also what was happening in Britain uh, in Britain at the time, all you know, for the past 500 years. So what Satnam has just mentioned about uh, the issue of race and, and racism uh, is is an old problem and it's an old problem but it's 20, 20th century and it's 21st century incarnation is a very specific kind which is about forgetting well there's I mean, it's, as Sutton rightly said it's a very complicated issue and, and while it's certainly true for example that Queen Elizabeth complained about the number of black people in Elizabeth and London which is a lovely fact I had no idea that uh, not a lovely fact but a, a surprising fact I had no idea uh, that that was true until I read it in, in, in Sutton's writing. The uh, uh, the other thing, though, that was equally true of Queen Elizabeth's reign was that she was busy making an alliance with the Moroccans against the, the Catholic Spanish. Uh, and there were various joint projects uh, that, they, you know, my enemy's enemy is my friend. So the, uh, the, the Muslim Moroccans allied with the Elizabethan court uh, with a view to um, attacking piratically Spanish and Portuguese treasure ships coming back from the New World. And there's even a colony, uh, a suggestion of a joint colonization project, which the Sultan of Morocco uh, suggested that the Moroccans might be better to settle in Virginia than the white British, as they were better dealing with the heat and, 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 and the climatic extremes. And there exists still in the Moroccan embassy in London, I've seen it, the, the, the extraordinary full-length portrait of Morocco's ambassador to Elizabethan England. Uh, who was this extraordinary handsome guy, but very much the sort of uh, depicted by the Tudor portrait painter as this sort of almost Shakespearean villain with a, with a kind of wicked handsome gleam in his eye. Uh, and, you know, and, and that sort of level of complexity where yes, you have, you have racism against one people, but you also have the possibility of an alliance with the Muslims in Morocco uh, is, is the kind of complexity that we need to understand when we, uh, uh, when we read and write history. Thank you. May I just Sultan chip in? Yeah, may I yeah. just chip in on something? I think I think I, I think Satnam was quite right in uh, decrying what uh, one Australian Prime Minister Bob Menzies very many years ago called the black armband view of history. And I think that there's a danger of that, and well, there is a danger equally of a mindless glorification, a rah rah thing of you know taking uh, over. But at, at the same time. I think what's the most important thing about the M empire was that it's interesting. I don't think anyone can deny that fact, that it was a highly interesting part of people's existence, sometimes rather brutal. Secondly, I would somehow have some reservations and misgivings over viewing the entire empire project of the empire experience through the prism of the debates within British multiculturalism. I think it's a far bigger enterprise. Oh, no doubt that's a part of it. But I think one of the dangers which we are seeing in increasingly these days is that the writings on empire in the so-called mother country has been more or less becoming shaped by these debates. If you've enjoyed the conversation that you just heard, do subscribe to our channel for much more.